If you aspire to be a tooling developer, you must learn how to make a great first impression on your client during your first interview. Imagine your video call look like this with a nice background, a soft light, and yes, no background sound. Hey, I'm Jose, and in this video, I'll be sharing with you some basics as well as advanced tips to carrying out a smooth and efficient remote interview. Just like an on-site interview, you need to prepare for your remote interview in advance. And unlike an on-site interview, you don't need to figure out the best route to drive there as well, the parking. What you must prepare for is your interview space, your background, your screen presence, and technology. The very first step to choose is your spot wisely. Whether it is a video interview or a phone interview, make sure to give the interview in a place in your house which is distraction-free. The last thing that you want is the sound of child fighting behind you or even car honking outside. The second element to consider is lighting. In most of the cases, why do you have a natural light or light coming from a lamp or a bulb? Make sure it's falling on you and not behind you. It will make you in a mysterious silhouette if the light source is behind you. We want the customers to see you in the best lights possible, both figuratively and literally. If you have a nice window, it's the best source of light that can make you shine in front of customers. Make sure to create your interview setup facing the window and all your light needs will be sorted. And another tip that comes in handy is if you use a natural light of source, make sure to switch off all your indoor lights as they might give your face a nice orange or blue color cast. But what if you don't have a large window for natural light? In that case, I would recommend using a desk lamp for brighter look. Avoid making the lighting from your lamp fall directly to your face. Instead, make its light fall on the wall like this and it will help to create a pleasant and soft light on your face. Let's not talk about background. You should always use a white or blank wall. If not, use a wall as plain, as simple as possible. And just in case you think your background is too cluttered, use a simple visual image background and avoid using video background. You know it's always distracting when developers come with a rolling beach background. Always avoid propping yourself in front of Messi. It's also very important that you look directly into the camera while talking. Don't position yourself like that, there or there. Maintain eye contact is really important in person and virtually. Make sure the camera is on your eye level and you look straight into it while speaking. Make sure your head and the top of your shoulders dominate the screen. Getting the frame right is really important. And here's a pro tip. Turn off video mirroring so you are not tempted to look to yourself while speaking. Next is an often ignored but very important part of the interview experience. Sound. Make sure that you use headphones instead of your computer and sound systems. You also can run a small test on Zoom and check the recording and the audio levels. You don't want the interview to come and say, I cannot hear in the limited time that you have with them. The last thing that we will talk about is choosing the right attire. In a remote interview, dress the same as you would in an on-site interview. And wearing the smart attire can also help you to feel more confident and prepared for your interview. One example is a bottom-down white shirt and a smart trousers or a skirt. Always check everything 15 to 20 minutes before the interview and do a mock run and make sure your internet connection is steady and your background is noisy and distraction-free and you feel your most and confident self. I hope this tip helped you to set up a highly professional setup for your next interview and make a great first impression on your potential employer. Turing is on a mission to unlock the world's untapped potential by connecting the world-class developer to high-quality US jobs. If you have made it so far, you are very close to become the top 1% of the world's developers. Give your best shot.